Hi, water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, and welcome to your tarot love messages here. Today, we're going to take a look at and see what is it that you need to know about your current romantic connections. So, for those of you that are in a relationship, um, or for those of you that are in a um, in a connection with someone, or even if you just you know, um, if it's early days and you just you guys just started talking. Um, we'll see what the cards here are hinting at as to what it is that you might need to know about this person or about yourself or about the overall connection. Um, now, of course, it is a general reading and therefore the messages are going to be general. So please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide my email address just below. So we'll give the cards a shuffle here and we'll see what messages you need to know here. Alright guys, we have the Devil, the Six of Pentacles, the Star card, as well as the Four of Cups. So what are the messages that you need to know here? With the Devil, it's a bit of a, um, kind of like a heavy energy here. Okay, kind of a heavy energy. It also brings in an, a bit of an addictive quality maybe to this person's nature or to the overall nature of this um, connection. Okay, for those of you that, um, you know, if you're single or if you've just recently met um, or even if you're in a relationship, I feel like the devil is a little bit complicated. I feel like it's um, a bit of a complex nature. For some of you, I feel like the devil here is suggesting that maybe some of you are wanting to be loved, okay? You want to find love, um, but you're kind of settling for lust instead, okay? Okay, so you want to be loved, but you're unsure maybe how, you're unsure how to open yourself up to relationships or how to maybe love someone or be loved in return here, guys. Some of you, I can see that you may be choosing lust over love here, okay? Love and lust do feel very similar. It's just that um, when love starts asking of demands or sacrifices, um, lust fails to meet those. Some of you, I feel like you could be using um, like physical or sexual intimacy here as a stand-in. So for those of you that are in a relation, like in a casual arrangement or a friends with benefit type of situation, I see that some of you are using that as a stand-in for love here. Okay, when really at the end of the day, you know, because the devil here is sort of asking you to weigh up the, you know, the short-term pleasure of um, this connection or this relationship um, versus the long-term pain of it so especially for those of you you know who are using like sexual intimacy or physical in intimacy as a stand-in for love or for relationships here be careful because at the end of the day it is a destructive energy and it can be very um, self-destructive guys for those of you that are like in a relationship um, the devil here could be indicating that you're feeling a little bit suffocated here, okay? You're feeling a little bit suffocated, you're feeling a little bit trapped. Um, the devil could also suggest that maybe some of you are losing your individuality or be careful not to lose your individuality in a relationship. Be careful that, you know, your partner isn't overly, you know, like, because it's such an obsessive or addictive quality. So be careful that, it, you know, this connection is not all too consuming and that you still have that freedom and flexibility to be yourself and to be your individual self here, guys. Because for some of you, you do feel a sense of entrapment here. Maybe you feel like the person here is um, suffocating or you feel a little bit trapped, overly codependent on their energy as well, guys. The Six of Pentacles, I feel like, is asking for a balance here, okay? So your, your connection here is a little bit imbalanced. It could be that you as an individual, and for those of you that are trying to seek love or you've been trying to find the ideal partnership, I feel like the Six of Pentacles here is inviting for you to sort of, you know, build that relationship with yourself first here. Yeah. So focus on that ideal relationship with yourself before you can actually invite, um, you know, a new romantic prospect into your life. So I'm seeing that equilibrium, a sense of balance here um, need, needs to be restored, whether it's within yourself here or whether it's in within um, the overall connection. Be careful not to over apply or overextend yourself in the connections as well, because the message that I get here, someone is doing too much, whilst the other person is doing too little here, okay? So all about 
that balance, all about that equilibrium here, which needs restoring in the connection here. Um, we're all creatures of habit, and what you guys tolerate here, okay, what you tolerate is essentially what you end up, you know, putting up with. Um, the star here, some of you, I'm hearing that you guys need to heal, okay, there needs to be some healing that needs to take place. Um, healing within the self and some healing of the relationship or of a certain situation. The star could also point that for a lot of you, I feel like you are on the right path is another strong message that I get for you. You're on the right path. So it could also indicate for those of you that are single here, it could indicate that there is someone he knew who was going to enter your life. And again, keep doing what you're doing. Keep focusing on you um, because I feel like you're on the right path to attracting your, you know, your soulmate, your twin flame, your um, ideal partner, your ideal partnership. Um, keep doing what feels best for you here. There is hope. For, for others of you, I have the message that I have that there is hope. Um, there's a possibility for... Um, I feel like there's an ex coming back for some of you, okay? And I feel like there is a hope or there is an opportunity to possibly reconcile your differences here um, and to repair or salvage what was once broken here so there is still hope for a connection that's not for all of you but there is someone from the past and again yeah I saw it sort of uh, links up so you know you are on the right path for those of you watching you're on the right path you're on the right path to healing you're on the right path to meeting your soulmate you're on the right path to um, like inviting calling back a past energy into your life who wants to come back and work on things with you okay and there is hope there's an opportunity to repair things with this individual here now you guys are coming up as the four of cups here some of you be careful not to get too caught up and too swept up in a fantasy or an illusion of what you want okay because some of you I feel like you may not necessarily be appreciating or you may be taking um, a certain person or um, a certain relationship for granted or you may you may feel as though you're being taken um, you know um, for granted here okay but I feel like someone here is um, the cards here are sort of cautioning whether it's yourself or your connecting energy to not be swept up in in a fantasy or a illusion of something because someone I feel like has such um, you know grand expectations or grand illusions built up that they're a little bit disappointed or a little bit frustrated with the reality of a situation so be careful yeah you don't get too swept up in that guys Okay, and these guys are your messages. So I just want to thank you all for watching and for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye for now.